Welcome back. It was an active weekend across the nation from severe storms to hurricanes. Some spots even saw snow. We'll start off with the rare snow event in California where the Sierra Nevada mountains saw rare August snow this weekend. An unusually powerful cold weather system brought flurries to the Olympic Valley. This video was taken at Palisades Tahoe Ski Resort and check this out. A resort spokesperson says this is the first time they've had snow in August in 20 years. Switching gears to the Nevada desert, the Burning Man 2024 kickoff was delayed yesterday due to problems with rain once again. Officials posted on social media Saturday that the gate leading into Black Rock City was closed due to the weather. Last year, heavy rain and thick mud stranded 70,000 people at the annual event. Traffic was so bad it took drivers hours to travel just a few miles to reach the nearest paved road. In Kansas, a severe thunderstorm with gusty winds hit the McConnell Air Force Base yesterday, causing injuries and forcing the cancellation of the Frontiers in Flight Air Show. Photos from the Kansas Highway Patrol show the show the severity of the storm. Powerful wind gusts in excess of 50 miles per hour even flipped a single-engine Air Force plane upside down. Talk about some force. Ten people suffered minor injuries and two were taken to a hospital. Over in Arizona, the U.S. National Guard had to evacuate over 100 people from a canyon this weekend after a flash flood hit Grand, hit Grand Canyon National Park. The flood trapped several hikers, tourists, and tribal members yesterday. Yesterday, search crews also found the body of a woman who was swept away during a flash flood late last week. The 33-year-old was hiking with her husband who got rescued by a group of rafters. Just a truly heartbreaking situation. Well, in the segment in Hawaii, the island got battered by tropical storm force winds from Hurricane Hone. It's now a tropical storm and it's moving away from the island, but heavy showers continue to move into the area. Right now, thousands of residents in the area are without power, and some parts of the state have seen up to 15 inches of rain. Hone will continue to gradually weaken even more as it moves further away from Hawaii.